welcome back to Living Survival. Today, we'll, we're going to be backpacking and camping. Also, we're going to be testing out some new gear. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video and make sure to give it a th thumbs up and we'll see you guys when we get there. Attention passengers, this is your captain speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We will be arriving to our destination in one hour. Again, thank you for choosing Living Survival Airlines. All right, so we're up in northern Michigan and we just made it to our campsite. We are going to the Bluebell campsite. It's a mile hike in and perfect for Living Survival Junior's first backpacking trip. So she is loaded to the uh, to the T here and so am I. Normally we wouldn't bring as heavy of a tent or as heavy of a cook set or the food that we brought, but since it's only a mile hike in, I can carry the extra weight. So hopefully you're nice and comfortable. Yeah. All right, cool. Pack seems to fit okay. Yeah. Might have to tighten those shoulder straps just a little bit. It's riding on your hips good though? Yeah. All right, cool. So we're gonna go that away. Wow. Pop our bags off. Yeah. I'm super proud of you. You got 1.1 miles on that backpack. Yeah. Wasn't too bad? Not too bad. Ugh, mine was. I got this thing overloaded. Gotta love the Great Lakes. Pretty cool. So since we're on the east side of the state on Lake Huron, the sun is setting pretty quickly. So I did want to get camp set up. Again, since we're only a mile in, I didn't pack super lightweight. This is a three-man tent. I would normally only bring a two-man tent. So much heavier than I would usually bring. We also brought a little uh, just a chill hammock to chill in and look at the water When you're a gear reviewer sometimes you got to pack on the extra pounds with camera gear and uh, and stuff to test out
some birch bark, small, medium, and big wood to start our fire. Birch bark is really good fire starter. To start a fire, you might want to use birch bark first, then, then do the small, medium, and then big. Yep, once it's up the top of the wood like that, we can lay our next size wood on. Lots of driftwood on the beach. Uh-huh. Beautiful night. some of our fuel on there. Are we gonna make s'mores? Yep. So I got this MSR uh, wind burner system. And uh, although we have a fire, I'm testing this system out. So we've got these little pizza crusts, and we've got some cheese and some sauce. And so I'm gonna try to uh, try to bake a pizza in there, and I'm just gonna put this plate over the top, and uh, so we'll see how that works. So let's get one of these crusts out of there. I think they're gonna be a perfect fit. This is gonna be a delicious pizza. How well that fits, and I didn't bring any olive oil. Wow, look at that! Like it just fits thing. perfectly, like you just baked it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the sauce on here. Taste the sauce. Yep, tastes good. Yep. A delicious pizza. This is gonna be delicious. You like a lots pizza. of cheese, right? Pizza, pizza. I don't want it too hot, so I'm gonna start start quite low. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're baking the pizza, the pizza. All right, I'm just gonna kind of set this uh, this lid on the top, and we'll check it in a couple minutes. Since we're doing a camping video, I decided to show you guys around the camp. This is the tent. That's where we hang our towels up. Over here's the hammock. This is where we hang our backpacks up. The bench where we're cooking the pizza. The fire pit. And also the water, the water filter. Just have this plate over it. Oh yeah, cheese is melting. It's not sticking at all either. All right. So that might actually work. It's such a beautiful night tonight. And you can kind of see the sunset back there. kind of burnt the first one a little bit so we're making another one I hope this one doesn't get burnt yep this one I'm gonna do a little bit lower heat I'm gonna do about as low as heat as possible because that center of that uh, flame there heats that bottom up and I wish I had some olive oil but yeah, I don't so it's not too bad 
Not too bad. But did get a little bit burnt. So we'll do this one just a little bit slower and bake the top a little bit, a bit, a little bit better. So our second pizza definitely turned out better. I did it much, much lower, but they're both gonna be good. You can definitely use the pan with something on top. You could use tin foil to uh, make a pizza. It does get that hot spot in the center, of course. So maybe not the best option, but it certainly works. All right, I guess I'm the uh, guinea pig here. Try the pizza. Taste tester. and crunchy. How do you like it? it? Tastes really good. All right, your turn. My turn to taste test. I like it. Good. Thumbs up. Libby wants some hot chocolate, so we're just going to boil up some water. With the system, you get a nice pot too, so that should boil real quickly. Very cool. Next up, we have some cheese tortellini, three cheese tortellini. What do you got there? More. Looks good. Good snack before bed. Not to make me one. <clears throat> Good morning everybody. Got in the tent last night after dark and didn't notice that my daughter had everything nicely organized in all the pockets in this tent. Take after her dad much. She still passed out. Last night she said I'm not going to be able to sleep with all those waves. 30 seconds later snoring. It's a beautiful morning even though the sun isn't fully shining. Got a lot of clouds but awesome to wake up to the sound of the waves. I'm gonna go grab our bear bag which is right over there. You can see they have a bear pole here but Pretty sure a tree probably took that down. So there's our food bag. And it's just tied off right to this tree here.
So after breakfast, we just hung out a little bit and got all packed up. We're all cleaned up, packed up. Got the campsite all nice and clean. And we're gonna head back on the trail. We are getting absolutely tore up by mosquitoes. Thankfully, I packed the spray, but even with the spray, they are nuts on this trail. Very quick overnight video, testing out some gear and getting Olivia used to uh, backpacking. Got a couple miles on her uh, backpack, so that's cool. We're going to the cottage. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the cottage and go for a swim. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, look forward to some reviews coming soon from not only me, but. Make sure to subscribe and get it a, give it a thumbs up. Yep, big old thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.